NetBSD is available. It is open source and it can be downloaded from netbsd.org. Netbsd.org and it is available for variety of CPUs like AMD64, ARM, like Raspberry Pi, Banana Pi and more. i386, NIPS, Spark64 and others. For this video, we are going to use AMD64 ISO image which I have already downloaded and for documentation refer to this netbsd.org let me just start virtual box Click on new, not BSD, name your machine of the, to your machine, virtual machine or virtual box. Memory size by default it is set, set to 2024, we can increase it. Based on available RAM on the host machine. Create virtual disk. Using default options, hard disk file type VDI by default it came. Just keep on using default options and then file location and size, which is by default 16 GB, which I think it is more than what is required. So let's decrease it for the time being. Click on create then click on settings. Go to the storage. Now we have to attach ISO image. Choose virtual optical disk file which is our ISO image. Now we are good to go. Let's start this machine. Normal start. By default, it started with the option boot, boot normally. Installation message, English. Other options we have in Dutch, French, and select based on your preferences, language preference, by default it is on, English, installation messages in, in, in English, click enter. Keyboard type US English or UK English. We can next 
install and bsd to hard disk other options like we can also upgrade NAT BSD on hard disk, reinstall sets or install additional sets, reboot computer, utility menu, concept menu, and finally exit install system. So we are just going to install. So let's keep it simple. You have chosen to install NAT BSD on your hard disk. Yes, let's continue. Available disks 8 GB, V box, virtual box, hard disk. Hit enter. Continue with the default option. Use the entire disk. Boot block section use BIOS console. Yes, that's fine. Just exit. Use full install. Other option we have installation without X11, which is which is graphical. Minimal installation. We can also use custom installation and to abort or abandon installation so let's go with the full install install from we can install out over the network also nfs ftp floppy unmounted first term local directory so in this option in this video we are going to use cd rom Installation is started. Let's open while the installation is going on. Let's open the netbsd.org again. So you can download from different mirrors available. Let's see what all of mirrors we have available for download. Let's have a look on recent changes.
So, so what is NetBSD? NetBSD is a free, fast, secure, and highly portable Unix like open source operating system. It is available for many platforms from 64 bit x86 servers and PC desktop system to embedded ARM and MIPS based devices. So, documentation is here. NBSD.org and this is about the story of NetBSD. The first version version of NetBSD is 0.8 dates back to 1993 and it springs for from the 4.3 BSD client operating operating system. A version of Unix developed at the U University of California, Berkeley, BSD, and from the 3.8.6 BSD system. So, go through this documentation. Let's have a look on our installation. Now we can configure different options, time zone, configure network, I want to have DSCP, auto select, yes. So current date is checking over the DSCP and it got IP address from DSCP. Your DNS domain. Yes. Root shell data set, root password set, root set the root password. Enable SSD. If you want to log in remotely over the SSH. Enable NTPD to keep the time in sync. Yes. Run NTP date. Synchronize time. Let's enable SDM also. Finish configuration. Let's reboot our machine. No, we don't require this uh, ISO image. It was booted from the CD-ROM itself. Let's reboot one machine, this machine once again. Would normally
of seeing the time. Light. Our installation is complete and this machine is on the network. In next videos I will try to add some more packages like uh, Apache or Samba or main server or Pine. So it all depends on what we what is our requirement. Based on the requirement, we could do the installation like if you we can have FTP, DNS, or mail, send mail, etc. So that's it.